Hey guys, so uh, I'm on my way right now to get a new radiator for, well not new, used, but a working radiator for the Boxster. Um, yeah, so let me update you on what's uh, happened so far. Um, I know it doesn't look like I did a whole lot with the car in, in the week, but trust me, I got a lot done. Um, mainly, um, I kind of had to, you know, search around the car and figure out what else I may need other than those uh, basic things like the bumper and the hood and the light. Um, so it turns out I needed additional trim pieces for the bumper. Uh, the other thing I found out I need uh, is uh, a new or a different radiator because I noticed that the reservoir for coolant was almost there was almost nothing in there so I'm like okay well is there a leak somewhere well, luckily I didn't see a leak uh, under the engine but the passenger side radiator I noticed was there was a wet spot under uh, the car so I looked around and it's really hard to see you can't really tell where the leak is coming from un until you actually take the condenser off the radiator because it's sandwiched, sandwiched between the fan and the condenser so you can't really see it. Um, I was hoping it was just the hose but it turns out that it's not just the hose it's actually uh, the edge of the radiator there's a real hairline crack as you can see right there um, which kind of really blows because hairline crack or a big crack it doesn't matter you need a new radiator so now I'm gonna go pick one up uh, put it back on um, but it's gonna cost me luckily I found one in town it's this I got it from the same guy that I picked up the hood and the bumper from and he says he's got a working radiator for 135 bucks which is the cheapest that I found on anywhere here or, or eBay uh, but uh, yeah, so I'm gonna get that. Uh, but that's starting to kind of, you know, start pushing me a little bit over my goal of seven thousand dollars for this project. Uh, not by much, but still, you know, then I'm gonna have to get coolant, and this thing only takes Porsche coolant. And there's been all kinds of debates on what kind of coolant you can use. And somebody said that you can actually just use whatever coolant you want if you flush the whole thing and put that only that coolant in. I'm not gonna risk it. I ordered some coolant on Amazon for uh, $35 for gallon. It's actually um, the genuine Porsche coolant. And here's the funny part. Turns out that since I got it, I went to order another gallon. Amazon raised the price for it to $55 a gallon. The other surprise that I found with when I was looking through this car after the last video I posted um, was that the driver's seat, uh, one of the motors that reclines it, the seat back and forth, it doesn't work. Um, and now I know my limitations. I am not at all good with electronics, fixing electronics. Uh, luckily, a friend of mine is gonna come over who is and he's gonna try to fix it um, he's thinking maybe he's just jammed or something I don't know um, so he's gonna try to fix that uh, motor so hopefully we don't have to order another one okay so I'm here at the salvage place to grab the radiator it's Saturday so technically these guys are I think not open but uh, I texted him and he said he's gonna meet me here to um, get me the radiator on a Saturday which is great except um, I don't really see him anywhere and the, and the thing is locked so hopefully he's on his way he's supposed to be here now but uh, I don't see him anywhere anyway so the process of we're building a car. It's fun. Hey, hey. Oh, there he is. Going? I film, film, film the part. Yeah. Hey, the guy is here with the radiator. Sweet. This look, looks good. Yeah, see, here's the part that broke on mine. There's a oh, tiny... Oh, right where a, the mount is? Yeah, a tiny yeah. hairline fracture. Yep. And I'm like, 
I'm like, where is it leaking from? Because I, yeah. I was hoping it was from the hose at yeah. first because it was beating up right, right. there. Yeah. And then I had to take it apart and then I'm like, I feel it higher, higher, and then it stops. Yeah. I'm like, oh man. Probably just from the impact. Yeah. Because it moved in the mount. The weirdest thing is that it moved, um, or this is the other side. Right, yeah, yeah. So yeah, it yeah, must yeah. have somehow yeah. like right. just I think weird. just from the actual impact of the car, just the movement yeah. of everything. Probably that. But your left one is fine? It, well, really? I don't know yet because I haven't started oh, okay. the car. Oh, okay. But just, I inspected it right. and there's not a single drop right. of anything. Oh, so okay. I figure... Okay, so I just picked up a radiator and it is pretty awesome because <clears throat> it's the whole unit with the uh, fan and the brackets and everything. So what he told me is that since I only need the radiator and everything else on my old one is fine, I'll just put this one in and I could take the old one, throw the radiator out, but I can eBay off the fan and the brackets and pretty much get my money back for the radiator that I just spent. So that's good, a bit of good news. Um, the other thing he told me is that there's a shop in town here that sells like Porsche coolant for much, much cheaper than the dealer and you don't have to order it online. So I'm gonna call them and find out if they got it. Do you guys sell uh, do you guys sell uh, Porsche coolant? Yeah, yeah. What's the year? It's a 2004 Boxster. Just want to be sure we're getting the right one. Yeah, I mean, I think it, it takes any kind of Porsche coolant. That's yeah. I mean, it's, it's G11, G12, G13. I just want to be sure. Is it the uh, 3.2 or the 2.7? Uh, 3.2. So excited. I can't believe I found a shop in town that actually sells German uh, car parts and maintenance parts um, for a fraction of the cost. This, the guy says, he claims that this is exactly the same stuff that um, you buy at the Porsche dealership uh, and it's the same company that makes the coolant that Porsche buys and puts it into their containers and charge you double for. Um, and that looks like, yay, it's pink. Um, so yeah, 26 bucks. 
per gallon, which is amazing. I love it. Um, yeah, this place apparently is awesome. They're really friendly, and it's, uh, it's a whole lot cheaper than going to the dealer or even some of the stuff on eBay or Amazon. So, I'm excited. Okay, so, um, I got the new radiator installed. It's all looking spiffy. Um, put the condenser back, attached it back to it, so, um, that's yeah, good. Um, the other thing is my friend was over. We took the whole, uh, seat cover off the seat just to get to this guy right here. This is where the uh, reclining, the recliner motor for the seat is. It's really annoying to get to. We had to take off, um, we had to take off the whole foam uh, for the for the seat and uh, take the whole leather cover off with, you know, a ton of these brackets on there <clears throat> it will be a whole bunch of pain to put all that back in there I imagine so I don't know we'll, we'll see how it goes but uh, yeah it's kind of cool to see the inside of a Porsche seat um, yeah uh, anyways the idea is that he thinks that this uh, motor got rusty because <clears throat> uh, cause somebody left the window open probably at some point and then after it sat there for a while it uh, probably got a little moisture in there and it's a little rusty so we'll put some WD-40 on it and see we're gonna see if this uh, works so I let it sit for maybe three four hours I came back just now and uh, yeah, I'll show you what I did So there is the motor um, right there. Um, so I tried to, I plugged it back in, I connected the harness, and I tried to uh, see if it works, and it wasn't working. So I was like, oh, darn it. So, anyways, so what I ended up doing is uh, just hitting it with uh, a pair of vice grips. I figured at that point, I'm replacing it anyways, uh, but I'm like, maybe I'll dislodge something there and it'll start working. So I hit it with the vice grips in one hand and while at the same time trying to use, uh, trying to use the switch to uh, move the seat back and forth. And guess what? It worked. So I kind of worked it back and forth, back and forth for a while to make sure it, you know, uh, breaks loose and starts working. And you know what? We fixed it. I was pretty surprised at that I would have to get a new one anyway thanks guys for watching this video sorry it was a little bit long um, but hopefully you found it somewhat entertaining please subscribe to my channel uh, thank you for watching and the next video should be uh, most likely me towing this thing to get the key programmed and then to the frame lineup shop